There he is. Where can I get in? Yeah, they couldn't see you. Uh, well, I parked my bike. The, the oh, the bush was in front of the way. Yeah. And also the uh, stand came off my bike, so I couldn't put it on the grass. I had to lean it against the wall. Auto cost. Anyway. Well, did I tell you about my new cell phone? No. You have a new phone? I know you had a... You had a... I have an iPhone 5S now. Okay, that's the same as what Norma has. It's got five rows of apps, plus the bottom row. Yeah. Yeah. Mine has uh, five rows of apps as well. Well, mine's uh, the 5S. I'm not sure. Five to six. Okay, yeah. Okay, so she does have the... She has one step down from me, I think. Norma, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, she has the same one. Um, pretty much. What was it? Jeez, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about today. Last time we ran was the race. I thought you might be wearing the shirt. Hang on. I'm just getting over an injury. But I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to keep up with you. Unless you go running off like a madman. My right leg is a little compromised. Well, work and uh, work. Uh, I found we're going up. I'm going up the steps for my break. And there's a cigarette butt on the stairs. Somebody was smoking in the building. Uh, well, they smoke outside, but I yeah. guess it dropped out of your pocket or something. Well, maybe they finished it and then just threw it. In the stairway. Anyway, so how's work? Um, good. Yep, you've been there for a few months now. Three months, too. Distance 0 0.13 kilometers. Average heart rate 75. Workout average pace 7 minutes 46 seconds per kilometer. Okay. So how far shall we run today? Oh, I don't know. The short run or the 5K? Short run. Short run, okay. I go to my counselor's place when I have to go to school. <laughs> it's going to be noisy along the highway, as um, usual. After I'm done school, then I can um, go to a different position at work. Oh, yeah. In charge of the ordering. Do the inventory. Is that why you're doing the numeracy? Well, no. I'm doing the numeracy for our politics. Average heart rate for politics? Average pay seven yeah. minutes, 19 seconds per kilometer. Do you see how many um, teachers and nurses in the future are going to have one hell of a time? Because there's now people from Vancouver moving here, people from other countries, people from Quebec. Huh. It's it's uh, it's gonna be a free for all. It's gonna be so crowded. This guy's having the garage sale. Hello. Oh, it's just the first off. Wool. Watch out for bikes. Oh. <laughs> Just when Canada gets overpopulated, all the doctors and all the good teachers and good doctors retire. Yep. So, <laughs> they mind you, they'll probably use computers to uh, teach kids. Yeah. So they don't have to. Uh, do it in person. Yeah. Maybe one day they'll be able to plug in a program that gives you everything you need to know up to the age that you are. Victoria's too small. We can't handle all that. There's your work. Sleg. I always call it slegs. 
but it's like longer. Take that puddle and like, act like a Donald Trump, I think. No more people from in Victoria. <laughs> but with Donald Trump, he would do it for a different reason. He'd do it for a racist reason. Maybe, yeah. Mind you, he might get impeached. They might be able to vote him out. There's a conspiracy, like, how did uh, Prime Minister or President get elected twice? Uh, it's weird. It's like, they're only allowed in four years, and I'm like, well, they'll get in for eight years. Maybe. I don't know too much about American politics. Immediately at Avenue. I wonder who we'll see today. Might see John. Distance zero point seventy two kilometers. Average heart rate eighty three. Workout average Hello. six minutes fifty six seconds per kilometer. You okay? Sounds like you're about to explode. Just burping. Burping. The good old sound of traffic. Ooh, good, um, my caregiver told me that Apple was going to shut down the iPhone 3GS. So you won't be able to use it. I'm like, oh, you can't do that. Not really, no. They could make it so that it's no longer compatible yeah. with any apps. Yeah. Or through, or you can't use it at all. Well, maybe that's all you could use it for, just as a phone. It wouldn't be a smartphone. Well, It'd no, be they, a dumb phone. They said you can't use it for anything. But I don't, I don't believe that. That's oh. just an exaggeration. Yeah, exactly. And then they said they're getting rid of iTunes. Yep, but it's now called Apple Music, Apple Podcast. But I still have iTunes. Yeah, you still have the little icon on your phone. But it, it uh, hasn't changed for me. I don't no. think uh, one of my old work buddies said they're just converging Apple Store with iTunes. Yeah. It's all combined. Distance 1.02 so kilometers. There's always a misconception. Yeah. They're trying to confuse us. What they're trying to do is force us to buy a new phone by saying, oh, the old phones, they don't work anymore. They program them to not be able to use them. It's like planned uh, obsolescence. They plan it so that it won't be able to be used. That's what I like about Microsoft. Is Microsoft uh, PC. It's, they don't do that. Not so much. No. And what about Galaxy? Um, what are they? What kind of phone is a Galaxy? Uh, I think it's Samsung. Samsung, that's right. Samsung crap. It's worse than Jap crap. Well, it is in Japan, but... I think it's Korean, actually, Samsung. <laughs> anyway, they took over for a while from the iPhone. Remember when everybody started getting Galaxy phones? Yeah, it was the cheapest. And they were bigger. Yeah. And then they started it blowing up. Yeah. They started overheating. Yeah. They're also made li- mainly of plastic as well. At least the iPhone is made of metal and glass. 
The only thing glass on the galaxy is the, the screen. But your iPhone's probably got glass on the front and on the back. As long as iPhone 5S so 64 gigabyte. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mine is too. She's got a red carrier case for it. A little flip like a wallet. Not mine, but hundred dollars. Wow. I thought that was a good deal. Anywhere else they'd charge three hundred or two hundred. I wonder if we'll see the old Lando. Yeah. The Chrysler. Lando. 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 No, Lando. Lando. They're on strike. The teachers are on strike. Just what you were saying about all these teachers that are going to retire. But I think these are support workers. They're not actually teachers on strike. Well, it's the new, the new young uh, teachers now. But there's not enough yet. Well, they're probably not as well trained as the old ones. Because they have to learn everything from Google. Yeah. You see, look. Picket line. Well, is that the teachers on strike? No, the support workers. Support workers? Yeah, like teachers' aides. Oh, yeah. Hang on, this guy's stopping for us. I thought you meant actually teachers. No, I don't think the teachers are on strike. And I think what they're doing is they're doing rotating strikes. Oh, yeah. So they don't take all the schools out at once. Take in turns, yeah. They take it in turns. So this today it might be here. Tomorrow it might be Gordon Head. Who knows? But it's a union thing. It's not the school, it's the union. Have you ever been in a union? No. No? There wasn't a dishwasher's union at Montana's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what Rob said to me? He said he might go back to Montana's. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I did too. Hello, dog. I went back for another year. Hi. What, what he hi. said... Hi there. What he said was that they'll take him. Oh, even. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're desperate. They're desperate. They're, um, I went back for a year. A whole year. Beep, beep. <sighs> but he's off work at the moment. Is he? Yeah, he's sick. I think he's got a sick note for two weeks. I'm not sure. He, he quit Montana's. Well, they can take him back. I know. But the thing was that uh, he was saying that the morning, he couldn't get up in the morning because he was so tired from the night before oh. and he'd waste the whole day. Well, he'll probably be able to go in a day first. Yeah, well, that's what. They are open for lunch, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, he can do a day shift for five hours. Yeah. He doesn't have to stay for a whole ten hours. Well, I think probably what they do is, if they're stuck for a guy at night, they offer the day guy overtime. Just, oh no, dishes would still be piled up high. Yeah? Yeah. He needs to go to the daytime shift. Ten, no, no. 11 to... 11 to 3. 11 to 3. Four hours? Yeah. But that won't do him any money. So maybe five hours till 4 or till 5. Well, we'll see. I'm going to be running with him tomorrow so I can talk to him about it. See what he plans to do. We're going to be running Derek Squares tomorrow. 
for the longest time I was doing 6 o'clock to whatever time till midnight. That's a six hour shift. Well, till two. Till two? Yep. Hello. Thank you. Sometimes till one. Most of the time till 12.30. That's only because I was there. I got used. I got the experience. And the work gets easier after being there a while. Because yeah. you know where you can take... It gets a little bit easier. You know where you can Not take... so much, though. You know when you can take breaks. You yeah. know when you can slack off a bit. Yeah. Because yeah. at the beginning, it's all push, push, push. But there's times when you can say, relax. They don't need this for 20 minutes. But most of the time, you can't relax. No. Not if the manager's around. Not, not even when there's no manager. Because the manager will come in and be like... What the heck? <laughs> What's all this mess? Clear the tables. Empty the trash. Wash the bathrooms. Do they ever get you to work the mop? Well, that's yeah. one of the things that, that Rob didn't like about. He went for a job at Berwick House. It's like a senior's house. And uh, they told him that he would only have to mop up his area. And he ended up having to mop up for the shafts as well. So he said, ah, I didn't like that job. I, they didn't treat him with any respect. It shouldn't matter what position your job is. You should still be treated with respect. Even if you're just assistant dishwasher. Yeah, I would mention Bob. Rob, Rob, you were at the same time. Yeah. I'll, I'll mention that to him tomorrow. But, uh, I don't know. I think he probably gets a check whether he works or not. Unemployment check, that kind of thing. Because he was working there for about 13 years at the bay. Boy, if he, did he ever take his holiday pay out there? Probably, yeah. Uh, yes, I think he did. And he got it? Holy cow! It would have been $10,000 on that. <laughs> Like a year's worth of pay. Well, not quite. 13 years worth. So, maybe 15,000, Maybe a thousand a year in sick pay or whatever. Yeah. Or vacation pay. I don't know. It's been so long since I worked for anybody. The only jobs I've had recently have been... Home care, you know, looking after old guys. But I heard somewhere today that one of those Humboldt hockey players in the crash. Did you hear about that? The Humboldt uh, hockey team. That some guy crashed into their into their bus and killed about 15 of them. And one guy had spinal cord damage and they've done some treatment they put electrodes in his spine so he can move his legs again just imagine if they could make all paralyzed people walk but you know it's not quite that simple because if you don't use your leg muscles they waste away so even if they reconnect the nerves they can't really walk right away. They would have to build up the strength to walk again. Maybe he could just move his foot. Did we go down this way on during the race? Yep. This is where we were passing them coming both ways. Uh, so before I went to work yesterday, yeah. 
my caregiver tells me you got to get a pull, put on something yeah. before you go to work. And I'm like, it's is not cold. No, especially for you. You it's like the cold. Well, yesterday wasn't cold at all. No. Oh, I had one a t-shirt on my desk to go to work. Yeah. It's just uh, a five-minute bike ride. Yep. Do you get warm when you ride your bike or... Oh, I get one. Yeah. You must push quite hard. You want to get it over with. This is where the El Camino was. No. Nope. Yep. Next one. Next one? Could be right. Yeah, maybe. I bet it's in the garage. So... On Monday, next week, it's Remembrance Day. That's when they have the relay at Cedars Lake. Do you remember that year we did it? You, me and Stefan. Oh, yeah. And he did two laps. <laughs> no, I think one year it was you, me, Robbie and him. No, 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 he wasn't in here. He wasn't in our team. Okay. I've got so used to doing the 5k loop from our training that you'll have to remind me which is our turn off. Have we passed the fish and chip place? Nope. Not yet? Rob was asking me what kind of work you were doing at Slag Lumber. Just off. We're going pretty fast today, you know that? No, what does it say? 6.47. Huh? That's like that one. How about the 6.49? The greatest hit for him. <laughs> yeah. What was she? What shall we call this one? The six forty-seven run? No, because it might not be six forty-seven. All the way. Yeah. Well, whatever it is at the end. No, no. That's what I'll call it. No. no. no? Call it uh... the old buddies run. Yeah. Because we haven't run for two months now. That race was in, I think it was in November. No, in October. Beginning of October. And we're now at the beginning of November. So one month. Did you wash it or not? No. <laughs> Typical man. That's not dirty, I can wear it again. Yeah. Besides, who's going to notice? Hello, girls, man. Well, yeah, yeah but... With I, that's the thing, isn't it? With shirts, I usually wash them, but with gray shirts... Or running shirts. You want to keep them dirty. <laughs> so this is our street. Bradford. Bradford Avenue. Not yet. After this forward. Remember when you saw the bus driver? I think that might be him. Oh no, it's his wife. No, they, they sold the house already. Yeah? Yeah. Hi. Everybody seems to know me today. Oh, they don't know you. Even they, they don't know me. Maybe they're amused to see an old man with a bandana and shorts. I noticed there was virtually nobody 
on the road today, on the bicycle path. Everybody's put their bikes away for the winter now. Bunch of sissies. A bunch of sissies. Oh, well, you're saying thank you in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. What is it in Chinese? Sushia. Sushia. Right now, oh, everyone's using it in slang, right? So they go, Sushia. Sushia. They're not really... The slang like saying for sure. Yeah, they're not, uh, they're not saying it properly now. But the, the old Chinese people, they say it properly. They go, Sushia. Sushia. Like a seal. Sushia. Where did you learn your Chinese? From working with Chinese people? I guess so. Yeah, maybe. Working in restaurants. Filipinos I learned a lot. Yeah. They speak lots of languages. And they speak English pretty well too. Yeah. But I think that was because the Americans were in the Philippines for a long time. True. Six minutes, fifty seconds per kilometer. Six Workout minutes. Cost. Workout, Workout stopped. stopped. Six minutes, fifty-one, it said. All right. Now, my dilemma is whether to put all my cycling gear on or leave while I'm still hot. What place do they get in that race? What? What place did I get? I think you were second in your age group or something like that. No, I was second in my age group. Oh, what about me? I can't remember now. I've got your number here still. <laughs> you remember you gave it back to me? Yeah. I'll find out what place you finished in that race. It's online. Okay. The results are online. Listen, I'll let you go inside. I know you've got a busy morning. You've got to go and see your job counsellor. Are you going to take the 70 bus in or what? Oh, no, my regular counselor. Okay. Well, all right. So I'll call it the old buddies run. Okay. All right? Yeah. Bye-bye, Derek. Thanks for the run.